Hi guys, welcome to the RP Resonance Chemistry. Now let us continue with our lectures on electrochemistry. Today we are going to deal with a very important topic that is nothing but Nernest equation. Nernest equation. Simply, which is also pronounced as Nernest equation. So, whatever the pronunciation, we'll go with the complete topic of Nernest equation. So, before going to the Nernest equation, so we are dealing with uh, some of the uh, if a reaction, if a like a galvanic cell or voltaic cell, if a electrochemical reaction, so whether it is occur or not, that is uh, the prediction of reaction whether it is occurred or not. Okay. So uh, we are go we are going to deal with uh, the prediction of uh, reaction, prediction of reaction whether it is occur or not occurs or not so simply so the reaction occurrence which was helped which was derived from the like a thermodynamic term that is a gibbs free energy change gibbs free energy change so if gibbs free energy so the change of gibbs free energy is negative the change of gibbs free energy in form of like our electrochemical reaction that is electrochemical reactions will produces the electrical energy especially galvanic cells and voltaic cells or daniel cells so which converts the chemical energy to the electrical energy so the conversion of like a chemical to electrical energy it it produces some of the electrical energy so the amount of energy which is produced by the like any electrochemical cell was explained by the was derived from the like a thermodynamic equation delta g is equal to minus n of e cell thermodynamic equation delta g is equal to minus n of e cell so here delta g is equal to uh, gibbs free energy change gibbs free energy change change in gibbs free energy or n is equal to number of electrons okay so f is equal to faraday of electricity faraday of electricity e cell is equal to emf of the electrode so simply e cell value okay so this is the reaction so if delta g is equal to negative so then only it is a spontaneous reaction then only it is a spontaneous reaction so if delta g is a negative that indicates the e cell value whether it is positive or negative so let us uh, let us assume so delta g is equal to negative into n value is positive f value is always positive so both are positive values so if e not cell e cell value is negative let us assume so if e not value is negative negative into negative it is positive value so if delta g is positive that is a non spontaneous reaction non spontaneous reaction that's why so e not cell is not negative so let us assume another case case 2 delta g is equal to negative into positive so negative into positive is negative so delta g is negative here it is spontaneous reaction so that's why so e not cell is positive then only possible for the spontaneous reaction that is a feasible reaction that is nothing but a, 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 the reaction will be occurred the reaction will be occurred so delta g is negative or e not cell is positive so e simply e cell is positive so both are the favorable conditions for the spontaneous reaction so both are when these two conditions are occurred then reaction will be occurred reaction occurs okay the reaction is possible so if quite opposite is there then it the reaction is not occurred that means a non spontaneous reaction so here which is also uh, written as delta g is equal to negative so the e not cell is equal to positive so these two are also same condition these two are also same conditions now here delta g is negative and delta e not cell is positive that is for the spontaneous reaction these two are ex these two are measured by the in terms of uh, like two axial reaction these two are connected to the salt bridge this is an electrode so here it is a left hand axial right hand axial so left hand axial which is gives the anodic e value that is e anode value so right hand axial is e cathode value okay so let us sum, uh, let us sum the these two values e anode plus e cathode so we will get the positive value then reaction is occurred reaction is occurred so or if we get the negative value or if you get the negative value reaction does not occurs reaction does not occurs so this is the like a prediction of reaction whether it is occurs or not so with the help of this thermodynamic equation nernest introduced an, uh, another theory for the prediction of uh, observable obs uh, like a uh, particular electrode value particular electrode value in different different type of concentrations okay now let us go through the nernest equation
Okay, now let us go through the Nernest equation. So here, in, in this case of Nernest equation, the electrode potentials or EMF values, which are mainly depends on the like concentration of electrode, so simply concentration of the ions, which is nothing but the activities of ions, and the like nature of electrode, the final lead temperature. So these three factors, these three uh, points, which are depends on the our electrode potential values or EMF values. Okay, so simply here, the, let us assume the reaction A A. So B B, which gives rise to C C plus D D. So here it is the another thermodynamic equation. So simply it is the equation. So which are both are in equal equilibrium. Okay. Now according to the like uh, thermodynamic terms, so the reaction coefficient. This is the chemical kinetics. So the reaction coefficient, which is nothing but uh, the coefficient is which is e uh, which is approximately equal to the equilibrium. So the equilibrium uh, equilibrium constant, which is nothing but uh, the concentration of a product by concentration of reactant. So simply here, in terms of activities, the activities of uh, product by activities of reactant. So activity of C into activity of D power D by activity of A power A into activity of B power B, B power B. So here Q is equal to reaction coefficient. Here Q is equal to reaction coefficient. Okay. So here reaction coefficient is which is nothing but a Q. Okay. From the thermodynamic equation, delta G, the Gibbs free energy change is equal to delta G is equal to the standard delta G plus RT into ln Q. RT into ln Q. This is the first equation. This is the equation number one. Here Q is equal to the reaction coefficient. Delta G is equal to change in the Gibbs free energy. Delta G naught is equal to standard change in the Gibbs free energy value. R under T. R is the real gas constant. T is the temperature. We know that. Okay. Now, from the like uh, electrochemical cells or galvanic, uh, like a uh, type of uh, galvanic or voltaic uh, Daniel cells. So here, chemical energy can convert into electrical energy. So that means uh, those cells which produces the some of the electrical energy, those electrical energy produced, uh, the amount of uh, those uh, produced electrical energy, uh, which is calculated in the terms of delta G is equal to minus N of into E cell. Nf into E cell. Here it is the another equation. So which is uh, which is came from the like a uh, like which pro uh, the electrical cell, electrochemical cell which produces the some of the electrical energy which was measured by the this equation. So yet uh, another equation, another term delta G naught that is a standard value. So minus Nf E naught cell. So E naught cell. Here it is the another equation that is three. Equation number three. So here E cell, E naught cell. That is a, a E cell at any concentration. E naught cell at a particular like a standard concentration. Delta G and a delta G naught. Okay. Now let us uh, substitute these values over the equation number one. Okay. Now let us substitute these values over the equation number one. So here delta G is equal to minus N of E cell, which is equal to the minus N of E naught cell plus R T. RT into ln Q. Okay, the Q value we know that uh, the activities that is the reaction coefficient value. I don't want to write the each and every time. That's why I'll represent the Q only. Okay, so now here the equation number four. So the equation number four, which is divided by the minus NF value. So equation number four, which is divided by divided by minus NF. Okay, now let us assume here it is minus NF. So the minus NF minus NF cancel here is also minus NF minus NF minus NF cancel here it is the minus NF here the third position only which retains the minus NF value okay now we will get the so NF NF cancel the E cell only there so here NF NF cancel E naught cell is only present so here RT by NF is present uh, here the, it is the negative charge with ln Q with uh, ln Q this is the equation number five let us assume so we don't want to give the any number of the equations on the each and every step okay now let us uh, uh, substitute the Q value over here, so that is activity of C into C, activity of D power D by activity of A power A into activity of B power B. So this is the equation. Okay. Now in this case, uh, uh, the activity terms can convert into corresponding uh, like a uh, concentration terms. The activities and the concentrations both are approximate values. Okay. Both are approximate. So activities can convert into like a uh, corresponding concentration. That means the activity term can convert into brackets, square brackets. Now here E cell is equal to E naught cell minus RT by NF into ln like a concentration of A so that is the concentration of C into concentration of D power C into power D by concentration of A power A into concentration of B power B. This is the another equation. This is the like uh, this is the equation. Okay. Now then ln values can convert into log. So ln E, which is nothing but base E value, log is base 10 value. Whenever ln can convert into log, which is multiplied by the 25303. Okay. Now here E cell is equal to E naught cell minus 2.303 by like uh, NF RT by NF 
okay r p by n f into log of concentration c power c by concentration of b power d by concentration of a power a into concentration of b power b so this is called an ernest equation this is called an ernest equation okay we know that this is the ernest equation so sometimes they are mentioned particularly they are mentioned at 25 degree centigrade temperature or at 20 27 degree centigrade temperature or 30 degree centigrade temperature or sometimes they are given in the room temperature okay so many of the cases the standard temperature is nothing but 25 degree centigrade temperature so 25 degree centigrade temperature is nothing but 298 kelvin temperature 298 kelvin temperature now based on that standard value so 298 kelvin temperature now we'll, we'll go through the those 298 kelvin temperature value so now here so 2 point minus 2 point 303 into so, so i don't want to give the like a uh, negative value 2 point 303 into 8 point 314 into like a t value 298 kelvins by like here it is the uh, faraday value 96500 uh, 500 96500 so 2.303 this, uh, this is unit class now r value like a joules kelvin inverse mole inverse kelvin inverse mole inverse so 298 kelvins like a 96500 that is a, like a mole inverse okay so it is coulomb so mole inverse coulombs like a, it is mole inverse now kelvin inverse kelvins are cancelled so here mole uh, like a mole inverse mole inverse are cancelled so joules oh, joules by coulombs only retained so 2.303 into 8.314 into 298 by 96500 which are uh, which are given by, which are gives to the like a 0 0.0591 into joule bar coulomb Joule per coulomb. We know that uh, so joule is equal to volt into coulomb. Volt into coulomb. One joule is equal to one volt into one coulomb. Now here volt is equal to uh, like joule by coulomb. Volt is equal to joule by coulomb, which is also written as 0 0.0591 into volts. 0 0.0591 volts. Okay. Now here volt is equal to joule by coulomb. So now let us substitute this value on the over the equation. Now here E cell is equal to E cell is equal to E naught cell minus 2.303 so the whole total value minus 2.303 into r into t by f value is 0 0.0591 by n here n is retained into log of c power c into d power d by a power a into b power b so this is the another representation of nernest uh, equation at 25 degree centigrade temperature only so this value which is valid for the 25 degree centigrade temperature only sometimes uh, in competitive exam they are given in the like closer values uh, the term of closer values uh, you are aware about uh, those 0 25 degree centigrade temperature or 27 degree centigrade temperature okay so if far away the values of uh, options are far away then you'll go through the like a uh, 20 whatever the either 25 or 27 uh, it we will use the like a uh, very smaller variation but a uh, very small uh, smaller uh, like a smaller values are given the closer values are given in the options so you are definitely aware about these 25 degree centigrade temperature or 27 degree centigrade temperature okay if if, you, if they are given in the 30 degree centigrade temperature then definitely you will go through this equation only otherwise there is no possibility okay so this is the final representation of nernest equation with the help of this type of nernest equation which are applied to different different types of electro, uh, electrodes in different different types of electrochemical cells okay now uh, we are going to deal with uh, in this session we are going to deal with uh, like a Daniel cell reaction so Daniel cell reaction before going to the Daniel cell reaction like a galvanic cell reaction so let us go through the like a e anodic cell reaction and e cathodic cell reaction okay so how to apply the our nernest equation into anodic and uh, cathodic cell reactions okay so this is the final uh, nernest equation now let us go through the ap applying of uh, anodic and cathodic cell reactions Okay, now let us go through the like uh, applying the Nernest equation into different different uh, electrode potential, single electrode potential. Okay, now let us go through the single electrode potential, single electrode potential, especially at anode. Let us assume that the first one is anode. So at anode, oxidation reaction takes place. That uh, oxidation means uh, the metal can lose the electrons and it forms the its corresponding ion. It forms the its corresponding ion. So we know that our uh, Nernest equation is equal to E naught cell minus 
जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव नाइन वन अपॉन एन इंटू लाग आफ लाइक कॉन्सट्रेशन ऑफ सी पार सी इंटू कॉन्सट्रेशन ऑफ डी पार बी बै कॉन्सट्रेशन ऑफ ए पार ए इंटू कॉन्सट्रेशन ऑफ बी पार बी विच इज आलो रिटन एज ई नाट सेल मैनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव नाइन वन अपॉन एन इंटू लाग आफ कॉन्सट्रेशन ऑफ प्रोडक्ट बै कॉन्सट्रेशन ऑफ रियाक्टेड कॉन्सट्रेशन ऑफ प्रोडक्ट बै कॉन्सट्रेशन ऑफ रियाक्टेड सो लेट अस अस्यूम दीज इक्वेशन दीज टर्मिनालजी ओवर हियर सो नौ अप्लाइंग दि नैनेस्ट इक्वेशन नौ अप्लाइंग नैनेस्ट इक्वेशन so simply here e is equal to e not cell so here it is only one half cell that is uh, the oxidation of cell e is e oxidation is equal to e not oxidation minus of 0.0591 upon n into log of uh, product is uh, m plus n by concentration of uh, reactant concentration okay now in case of uh, electrochemical cells uh, the concentration of pure solids and gaseous particles are taken as unity pure solids and uh, gaseous pure gaseous forms uh, those concentration taken as unity now here e oxidation is equal to e not oxidation minus 0.0591 upon n into log of m plus n log of the concentration of m plus n that is a uh, uh, product concentration only here the concentration of pure solid taken as a taken as unity here it is solid here it is the solution so this is the aqueous solution okay now here this is the e anodic half cell reaction anodic half cell reaction of nanest equation so now in similarly cathodic half cell reaction cathodic half cell reaction so that is so metal cations which gains the electrons which gains the electrons and it forms the corresponding metal so in similarly applying the nanest equation e cell e reduction is equal to e not reduction minus 0.0591 upon n into log of like a concentration of m by concentration of m plus n so here the concentration of pure solids are taken as a unity now here e not cell reduction minus 0.0591 upon n into log of 1 by m plus n log of 1 by m plus 1 so if denominator will becomes a numerator the sign will be changed so now e not reduction is equal to e not reduction plus 0.0591 upon n into log of m plus n so this is the reduction of cell reaction reduction of cell reaction this is the reduction of cell so now here it is the oxidation of cell okay now let us apply our our equations into like corresponding our daniel cells so now here daniel cell is uh, like it is uh, zinc zinc plus 2 zinc zinc plus 2 now it is the double slash salt bridge copper plus 2 can converts it to copper so here it is the daniel cell reaction so now here zinc can undergo the oxidation copper can gets the reduction okay now here the first half cell zinc it is converts into zinc zinc plus 2 into two electrons loss of two electrons now here e cell is equal to at the oxidation at the anode so e cell is equal to e cell is equal to e not oxidation simply here e oxidation is equal to e not oxidation minus 0.0591 upon n into log of zinc plus 2 solution log of zinc plus 2 solution in similarly at cathode at cathode e reduction is equal to so simply reduction means copper plus 2 gains the two electrons and it forms the copper okay now he e not reduction minus so here in case of a reduction so the cation values the solution value will, will become will goes to the numerator then sign will be changed so then it is positive value 0.0591 upon n into log of copper plus 2 part of copper plus 2 now let the emf of the cell e cell is equal to e oxidation plus e reduction e oxidation plus e reduction this is the cell value now e cell value is equal to e oxidation means e not oxidation minus 0.0591 upon n into log of zn plus 2 so plus e not reduction plus 0.0591 upon n into log of copper plus 2 log of copper plus 2 now here uh, let us uh, let us uh, keep the starting words uh, as uh, e not oxidation plus e not reduction so here these two are the left out okay now here uh, minus 0.0591 minus 0.0591 upon n into log of zn plus 2 plus 0.0591 upon n into log of copper plus 2 log of copper plus 2 now here e not oxidation plus e not reduction which is equal to the e not cell reaction e not cell e not cell that is emf of the standard cell so now here among these two here 0.0591 upon n is constant okay now keep the constant value keep the, uh, the common values these two are the common values so let us keep these two values now here log zn plus 2 
log z in plus 2 concentration here now we keep the negative 0 0.0591 upon n so here it is the positive so the positive which is also written as minus into minus so one minus is keep constant at the uh, before the values now one man, one one minus is uh, retained so now here it is negative log of copper plus 2 negative log of copper plus 2 now here which seems to be log a minus log b which seems to be log a minus log b so we know that the formulas of log a minus log b so that is nothing but log a by b log a by b now here e naught cell minus 0 0.0591 upon n into log of a by b that is zn plus 2 by copper plus 2 so we know that uh, so this is the like daniel cell reaction so e cell is equal to e naught cell minus 0 0.0591 upon n into log of zn plus 2 by copper plus 2 so which is also which is all which is also satisfies the our uh, simple nnst equation e cell is equal to e naught cell minus 0 0.0591 upon n into log of product 2 by log of reactant concentration so we know that uh, the general equation of the like our galvanic cell we know that the galvanic cell generalized equation so here zn can lose their two electrons and it forms Zn plus 2 into two electrons copper which gains the two electrons and it forms the like a copper metal. So now overall reaction is equal to Zn plus copper plus 2 into like a copper plus copper into Zn plus 2. Here it is the product product concentration is Zn plus 2 reactant concentration is uh, copper plus 2. So here the concentration of the copper and zinc so uh, pure solids that's why these two concentrations are taken in unity so this is the simplest representation whenever you go through the reaction so this is the simplest reaction this is the simplest reaction so whenever you observe these reaction so let us uh, substitute those values of the product concentration by reactant concentration that's enough for the daniel cell representation okay now let us uh, now i'll give the uh, one other um, practice example regarding to the uh, like a uh, daniel cell model So this is very interesting reactions regarding to the nanest. Okay. Now if it is possible, I'll make the another videos on the numericals on these nanest problems. Okay. Now let us go through the another example that is a copper 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 plus two. So here it is the cell representation AJ plus EAG. So now here uh, let us uh, let us give the let us uh, go through this complete reaction. Copper can undergo the copper plus two and it release the two electrons. Silver will gain the electron and it forms the AG. Okay, now here electrons are not matched, that's why we will multiply it with the bottom equation with the 2. So now we will get the uh, complete equation. Now here, copper will, uh, tr will tr with 2 Ag plus, will use the copper plus 2 as well as the 2 moles of Ag. So here it is the simplest re uh, reaction. Okay, now with the help of our simple thing, that is E cell is equal to E naught cell minus concentration of 0 0.0591 upon N into log of concentration of a product concentration. So simply product concentration here it is a pure solids. Pure solid values are uh, like a unity. That's why I don't uh, we don't need to remember those values. We don't need we don't represent the, those values by again the concentration of reactant value Ag plus. So here it is the like uh, two moles so two moles are there. That's why here it represents the reaction coefficient. That is a stoichiometric coefficient value. So copper value is zero. So this is the simplest representation of any type of a reaction. Okay. Now let us go through the our systemized equation. So copper copper can undergoes the copper plus two. Now here it is a two electrons. Now here E oxidation reaction is equal to E naught oxidation minus 0 0.0591 upon n into log of like a copper plus two so this is the oxidation shell now in similarly e reduction is equal to e naught reduction minus 0 0.0591 upon n into here it is the positive so reduction value it is positive so log of like here it is a uh, ag plus square right because here two moles of ag are used two moles of ag are used ag plus are used so now here e cell is equal to e, e oxidation plus e reduction now let us uh, let us go through the, these two values e oxidation plus e reduction Okay, minus 0 0.0591 upon n into log of copper plus 2 plus 0 0.0591 upon n into log of Ag plus square, Ag plus square. Now here, e oxidation, E0 reduction is nothing but E0 cell. So here, minus 0 0.0591 upon n is uh, kept the common. Now we'll, we'll uh, require, we'll uh, like, uh, remaining values are log copper plus 2 minus of 0 like a minus of uh, log Ag plus a square, Ag plus square, which seems to be log A minus log B, which seems to be log A minus log B. So we know that log A minus log B value, that is nothing but log A minus B, log A minus B. Here E cell is equal to E naught cell minus 0 0.0591 upon N into log of copper plus 2 by Ag plus a square, 
kg plus square. This is the equation. Simply, both are the same equation. Okay, either the systemized manner or the direct method that is product concentration by reactant concentration. Or both we will get the same answer. So this is the simplest reactions, uh, simplest representations regarding to the our uh, like any type of galvanic or uh, voltaic cell reactions. Now let us go through the some of the other reactions that is uh, related to the metal metal ion single electrode reactions like uh, gas ion electrodes, calmel electrode. Now again uh, uh, oxidation reduction electrodes. So now let us discuss the few of uh, single electrode reactions. Okay, now we'll go through the different types of electrodes, different. Uh, okay, now we'll go through the different types of electrodes, different uh, types of electrodes. Okay, first of all, metal, metal ion electrode. First one is metal metal ion electrode. In all the cases, we will, we will go through the single manner, whether uh, oxidation reactions or uh, reduction reactions. Now here, uh, reduction reactions, Zn plus 2 will gain the two electrons. Now it act, it uh, gives the Zn. So here this reaction acts as a reduction agent. So simply, so E cell, now, now let us apply the Nernest equation, E reduction is equal to E reduction minus 0 0.0591 upon N into log of like a concentration of a product by reactant that means Zn by Zn plus 2 1 by Zn plus 2 concentration 1 by Zn plus 2 concentration here E reduction is equal to E reduction minus 0 0.0591 upon N into log of Zn plus 2 so whenever the numerator value becomes a, a denominator value becomes a numerator the sign will be changed so here it is the E of E metal metal ion electrode reaction now the second electrode so that is a very important electrode that is gas ion electrode reaction gas ion electrode simply it is a like a h plus which gains the electron and it forms the like of h2 in presence of a platinum electrode in presence of a platinum electrode now let us apply the our nernest equation into our electrode so simply e e naught cell minus 0 0.0591 upon n into log of concentration of 1 by h plus so here h2 concentration pure gas concentration is equal to the unity okay now log of h plus concentration so we know that e naught cell value of standard hydrogen electrode is zero so that's why we don't want to uh, represent this equation 0 0.0591 upon n into log of so h plus will uh, will goes to the numerator then this value which is nothing but minus okay so this is the value so minus 0 0.0591 upon n into simply so here the anti logarithm of h plus concentration which is nothing but ph so here it is the simplest representation of a gas ion electrode gas ion electrode okay now let us go through the third uh, third electrode that is nothing but a, uh, like a oxidation reduction electrode oxidation reduction electrode so here the fe plus 3 will gain the electron and it forms the fe plus 2 okay now in case e cell is equal to e naught cell minus 0 0.0591 upon n into like a product concentration log of uh, Fe plus 2 by Fe plus 2 by log of Fe plus 3 Fe plus 3 concentration this is the third equation third uh, concentration now the fourth electrode that is nothing but um, uh, simply uh, chlorine electrode so before going to the chlorine electrode metal insoluble salt insoluble in salt electrode insoluble in salt electrode that is nothing but AgCl which gains the electron and it forms the so here AgCl which uh, dissociated into Ag plus and Cl minus Ag plus will gain the electron and it forms the Ag so Cl minus will retains like this Cl minus will retains like this E cell is equal to E naught cell minus 0 0.0591 upon N into log of uh, like a uh, product concentration Cl minus concentration by AgCl AgCl and the Cl Ag so here Ag by AgCl concentration so these two are unity the concentration of Ag and the concentration of AgCl is unity so that's why E naught minus 0 0.0591 upon N into log of uh, like a uh, uh, Cl minus only log of uh, Cl minus only. This is the like a metal insoluble aluminum insoluble salt electrode reaction. Now the fifth one is uh, that is nothing but uh, like a chlorine electrode reaction. Chlorine electrode reaction. So chlorine electrode. So simply chlorine of mole of chlorine which gains the electron and it forms the Cl minus Cl minus. So now applying the Nernest equation E naught cell minus 0 0.0591 into log of uh, like a uh, Cl concentration, log of uh, Cl minus concentration. These are the simplest electrode. Now the final electrode is a uh, Kalman electrode. Okay. Now I think a uh, space is not available. Uh, now I'll write the Kalman electrode over here. So this is the Kalman electrode reaction. So now the final one that is a Kalman electrode, sixth electrode. Kalman electrode. Kalman electrode. Simply Hz2Cl2 will use raise to hg uh, so simply here it gains the two moles of electrons now here 
2 moles of HG plus 2 Cl minus ions. 2 Cl minus ions. Now let us uh, apply in the our nearest equation E naught cell minus 0 0.0591 upon N into log of. Okay. So the concentration of a product concentration HG power 2 like a Cl minus power 2 by like HG2 Cl2. HG2 Cl2. The concentration of HG2 Cl2 is equal to the unity. HG is equal to the unity. That's why E naught minus 0 0.0591 upon N. Here the two electrons are there. That's why we use the two electrons over here. So now 2 log of HG. That means here the unity. Here the unity. Cl minus concentrations are there. So here it is the E value. Here it is the E value. Now here's log Cl minus power 2. Okay, now here it seems to be log A power M. It seems to be log A power M. We know that log A power M formula. So log A power M is equal to M log A. Okay, now here it seems to be log Cl, Cl minus power 2. So which are written as 2 log Cl minus. Okay, now here E is equal to E naught minus 0 0.0591 upon N into 2 into. So here the N value is 2. 2 into 2 into log of Cl minus concentration. So here 2 to cancelled. Now the final equation is equal to E naught minus 0 0.0591 into log of Cl minus concentration. So this is the like a ready made and earnest equation for the thermal electrodes. Okay, that's all for this video. I, I hope you guys it is very helpful for the like a very uh, lower level competitor to higher level competitive exams like uh, JE mains to like uh, uh, CSR and gate aspirants. Okay, I hope you guys it is very helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching.